as the crowd continues to file in. We get set to bring you another exciting game. We'll have temperatures below freezing for tonight's game as the Saints match up against the Steelers. I'm Al Michaels with my partner John Madden here to bring you today's game. Now here's one of the better quarterbacks in the league. And the great thing about him is that he always gets a job done. Maybe it's selling a play pass or throwing a block on a reverse. He's always out there doing the little things to help his team to victory. The Saints have a few receivers that he likes to throw to, and here's one of them. There's no question these two have developed that chemistry, and he's always finding an open spot on the defense to give his quarterback a target to hit. It wouldn't be surprising to see them hook up a few times in this one. And you can tell that defense is fired up and ready to go. I don't think we should keep him waiting any longer. Now let's go to midfield for the game's coin toss. Much anticipated game ready to begin as we're lined up for the kickoff. Reed will be kicking off. Ends a short kickoff. From the 15. We're ready to go on offense for the first time. Let's take a look at the first coach in our EA Sports coaches close up. Saints third year head coach Jim Hazlitt has a solid nucleus of talent on offense anchored by an excellent running game complemented by a smart mobile quarterback and fast wide receivers who can stretch the defense. Aimed it off to the back. Not much there. Maybe a yard. Continue looking at our EA Sports coach close up with Head coach Bill Cower. Cower Steelers were the best in the NFL last year at stopping the run, but too often gave up long passing plays over the middle. Hand it off. He starts out the wrong way and winds up losing the ball. Yeah, they got good penetration on the line. Guys flying to the ball, getting to the ball carry, making a heck of a defensive play. Closing in. He's looking with the pass. He can't wrap him up. They move the sticks with that completion. I'll tell you, he put that one right on the money. They're just out there playing a little pitch and catch. First and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Set! It's the cross to the left. McAllister didn't get any help from his offensive line. It was just about impossible to run when you have guys in the backfield just as soon as you snap the ball. Get the offensive line to maintain their block. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 44. Set. Hand off to the tailback. A lot of space in front of him. The 40, the 30, slips the tackle. The 20, runs through the tackle. Around the corner and it turns into a great run. Yeah, and the defense looked a little lethargic and slow on that one. They just didn't react and fly to the ball carry very well. And he ended up almost getting by everyone. Brooks gets set, throwing on first down. Under pressure, touchdown, New Orleans. Are you talking about a great pass for a touchdown? This is just the kind of thing you're talking about. Looked over the coverage, he got the ball to his man. The kicker lines up for the point after. The kick is up. The point after is good. Down the field, they went efficiently and effectively over 70 yards to the end zone. Now, that's just the type of thing that you come to expect from these guys. They do a really good job scripting the plays that they're going to be running. And they do a great job of executing them when they run them. Deep kick without much hang time. He takes a knee. No return on that kickoff, and they'll get ready to start the drive at the 20. The Steelers come into today's game with one of the most potent offenses in the NFL, John, and clearly they have a chance to blow this one open. The defense has its work cut out for it. But they have to play aggressively and keep pressure on the quarterback if they want to come away with a win in this one. Tosses it out to the right. Loses the defender. Bettis did a nice job on that run. If the defense keeps giving up runs like that for first downs, they'll have to make some adjustments to slow this guy down. Set. 
Tucks it away. Great fake. Slings it to the outside. Second and short of coming after a good pickup through the air. Right here is one of those situations where you can pretty much open up the whole playbook. You can go with a play fake and look for something deep, or you can just run the ball. Just about anything is an option. They'll go from the I formation. On the 40 yard line. With the pass, good throw. He's on the run. The 30, the 20. High stepping to the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. That's a huge play by the quarterback. The quarterback made the right read on that one, leading to a long pass reception to put some points in the board. They'll get set for the extra point. And it's up. The extra point attempt is good. Good job moving the ball the length of the field for the touchdown. Yeah, that was a nice job of keeping those chains moving and avoiding costly penalties. Now they've got to see if they can keep this momentum that they have established going for the remainder of this game. From the 15. They scored a touchdown on their last drive, utilizing the running game to move the ball against this defense. And we'll probably see the same kind of thing here as they take over again. The Saints line up in the shotgun. Dropping back the pass on first down. Not much there. Maybe a yard. Only one man in the backfield. Ball on the 29 yard line. Set! Pressure. Looking downfield. Gets the pass off. No catch. He was out of bounds. As a quarterback, you're supposed to put the ball where only the receiver can get it. I think somebody should have told him that he also needs to keep it in bounds. So with the play in question, the coach has decided to challenge the core. Yeah, they might get this call reversed. It appeared he did a great job of keeping his balance along the sidelines. Yeah, and the only question is, did he step out? That's what I think they're looking for in the booth. Call on the field stands. New Orleans will be charged a timeout. Well, after taking a long look at the replay, he didn't see anything to change the original call. Yeah, and there's actually two things they lose with that. One, they lose a timeout, and two, they lose a challenge. Aimed it off the back, they'll mark it at the 30. Not much there, maybe a yard. The Steelers come out with three down linemen and seven defensive backs. Pressure coming with the pass. This is receiver in stride. I'll tell you, this has to be frustrating. Watch here, as it's a great situation for the defense. They think they've got him, and they're about to get the ball back. Then all of a sudden, he drops back the pass, and boom, they're moving the chain, and they're getting a whole new set of downs. So they have first and 10 here. Ball on their own 43. McAllister, the deep man. Ball on the call, great fake. Closing in, there he goes. Second and short up coming after that great run. This might be the easiest conversion the team will face today. That was a gutsy play by the quarterback to get that kind of yardage on first down. Brooks sets up. He'll sneak it. Well, they kept it in the quarterback's hands. And they picked up the first down. But you want to make sure you don't get them too banged up. Be patient out there. When you see an opportunity, that's when you attack. But don't force it. Set. First and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Hut. Cross play to the left. A yard, maybe two on the count. Let's move this football. Pittsburgh comes out in a dime package. Ball on the 41-yard line. Set. Goes with a short pass to the right side. And it's complete. At the 30. He dumped it off and left it up to the receiver to get the first. When it comes to the screen pass, you have to have perfect timing. You don't want to give the play away too early because the defense will pick up on it and flow to that side of the field and shut it down. McAllister in the backfield. Ball on the 29 yard. Hand it off. <laughs> Running back picks up about four yards. Four on the Only one Second man in the backfield. 
Ball on the 25-yard line. Set! Huh. Huh. left. <laughs> Dallas couldn't find an opening and was brought down very quickly. Yeah, he was. This line has to do a better job of holding up at the point of attack. He has a fast first step. He can explode through the hole. And he needs a line to create that little crease or cutback lane to break free. At the end of the first quarter, we're all even. Pittsburgh, seven. New Orleans, seven. And we're ready to start the second quarter. Everyone needs to stay focused here. Hold your blocks, run good routes, and make a good pass. You need to convert this. And this is the 11th play of this drive. Under pressure, slings it across the middle. Big opening. Now this is one heck of a play. Look at it. They're in a hole here on third down. And they come through with this perfect play that gets them a first and keeps the drive going. All right, smell the end zone and get the ball in there. It's the toss to the left. Great play in the backfield by Ford. Good work by the defensive line there. They got off the ball, got penetration, shut off those running lanes. He was looking for a hole, but the only thing he saw was a massive wall of defenders. Critical situation here. You guys can't make mistakes here in the red zone. Run this play and pick up some solid yardage. Thirteenth play of this drive. Going to the left. Dallas was stuck on that play, John. They're just relentless when the offense decides to run the ball. They break down blocks very quickly. They do a good job maintaining their gap assignments, limiting cutback opportunities. They're within striking distance here. Set. Drops back. Pressure. He's looking. Firing a ball into the end zone. Huge defensive play in the end zone. I don't think he even saw the corner on that play. He's lucky it was only a tip. If it had been a little better position, it could have been an interception and gone back the other way for six. So this field goal attempt will be from about 33 yards away. And it's on its way. The try is good. The kickoff team lines up. Decent kick. We should have a return. From the five. They head back out onto the field after scoring the touchdown on their last possession. And the passing game worked to perfection. So we'd expect them to try to continue to do the same thing and move the ball through the air against this defense. Bettis. They'll go with a play fake. Throws it. Off target, but he goes down to make the catch. Here he goes. The 30, the 20, and he showboats his way toward the end zone. Touchdown, Touchdown. Steelers. By Tommy Knox. Finds his man and throws his second touchdown of the game. Reed comes in for the extra point. And it's up. The extra point attempt is good. Stunning play right there, and that's one you'll be seeing tonight on the news. They can do this type of thing. They get in sync. Everybody gets on the same page, and they roll right down the field for a quick score. Now it's up to the defense to get them the ball back quickly so they can keep this momentum going. The last drive stalled, and they settled for a field goal. Now let's see what happens. Scan the defense quickly here. If nothing's open downfield, get rid of it by passing it to one of your backs. Set. Hut. Pressure coming. Looking for an option. Rolling right with the pass. Picked off. Breaks free. Breaks free. Big open. The defender makes a leaping interception. <laughs> he just jumped right up there and picked that ball off. The offense gets ready to go following the interception. Bettis, the lone back, throwing on first down. Closing in, Rosen. This one falls incomplete, and that brings up second down. The intended receiver on the play.
Crossplay to the right. And he's tackled behind the line by Hodge. Smart coach to call this defense. They'll go with the quarter defense. Ball on the 24 yard line. He surveys the field. He has time. Gets the pass off. The pass falls incomplete. Number 80, the intended receiver on the play. Reed comes into the game to try the field goal. And it's on its way. And that kick is right on target. Well, John, these teams are very evenly matched. This makes for a better game, I think. The strategy of the game comes into play here more. They'll return this one. From the eight-yard line. New Orleans heads out offensively down by seven. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Washington stops him at the 29. Five yard gain on the play. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 29. Brooks sets up. They'll go with the run once again. McAllister with a nice run and picks up the first down. And it was well executed. They hit their blocks and the back found the right hole to get down the field and pick up a first down. Set, hut. Going to the air on first down. Gets rid of it. No problem picking up the first. Yeah, you know, we talk about putting a ball on a guy. The quarterback put that ball on the receiver perfectly. Throw a little play action at him. That'll get those linebackers on their heels. Set. Two minutes to go. Hut. McAllister, great fake. Looking downfield, gets the pass off. Interceptor. <laughs> the defender is there to make the play. That was a great pick. He was reading a quarterback like a book. One thing they want to avoid is turning it over and setting up the other guys with a chance to get some points. Dime back into this play. With the throw, picked off. Breaks free. He's at the 20. He's inside the 10. Touchdown, New Orleans. He just barely got it off, and he paid for it. Hey, the defense was sitting in the zone, watching the quarterback eye. They saw where he was looking, and he didn't see them watching, and boom, he threw it right into that zone coverage. Set. The kicker lines up for the point after. The kick is up. The extra point attempt is good. And the kickoff team comes out onto the field. Not a bad kick. They'll set up for the return. From the four. That interception brought their last drive to a sudden halt. After collecting themselves on the sidelines, let's see what happens here. Pumps once with the pass. And he slips out of bounds at the 29-yard line. New Orleans comes out on a dive package. Gets the pass off. The defender The defender was all over that one. He just stepped in front of that one. He saw his opportunity. That boat, he took it. So after the interception, now it's first and ten. Hand it off. Four yard gain there. Gain of four on the 
in field goal range now. Pittsburgh lines up with seven guys in the secondary. Rolling right, throws it, and this pass is completed. Brooks was able to find his man for the first down. The receiver is really a special player. He's one of those guys you want to look for at crunch time. Passing on first down. Under pressure, rolls right to the end zone, picked off in the end zone. So they throw away a great chance. And as a quarterback, the last thing you want to do is force a bad pass into the end zone like that. You would have been better off just throwing it away or taking off and running with it. Dropping off the pass on first down. Incomplete. That incomplete pass brings up second down. I'll tell you, we've had a close first half, and it should be the same for the second. And that's why it would be big if they could get a field goal here. The way this thing is going, that could be the margin of victory. With the throw, behind him. He saw them drop back in coverage, then just threw a strike. Yeah, he made the right read and found the open man. That's a nice play. I like to hurry up here. It's a change of pace, and it's a way to get the defense uncomfortable. Pressure, looking downfield. Passing right to Pittsburgh. will call a timeout here. They have two remaining. There's still some time left, so if the quarterback can make some good decisions and manage the clock, they might end up going into the half with a lead. To the air on first down. Rowing. And the catch is made. That'll move the chains, John. Yeah, when you put together a great pass with a heck of a catch, that's exactly what you're going to get. The Steelers using motion. He's looking. With the pass, it's going the other way. Fumble. The Saints. Good play by the secondary will be a key to whether or not this game goes into the half and tie ball game. So after the interception now, it's first and ten. The coach is hoping to get it right here because that could be a big lift to the team. What the official will be looking for here is to see if the knee is down. It's tough to say with that replay. This one won't be easy. on the field stands. It's rid of it, almost intercepted. John, that went right off the defender's fingertips. And that's the thing. That was a perfect opportunity to make a big play for his defense. He lets it go as an incomplete pass rather than an interception. No need to rush a throw or force one where there's double coverage. And you got to remember there's nothing wrong with going into halftime all tied up. This is your chance to try something deep. Look for a mismatch and bomb it out there. Looking downfield, rolling, and the catch is made. Great play there by Horn. The thing is, he got some separation there, and he was able to get him a big chunk of yards. New Orleans calls a timeout. That's their last one. John Carney will attempt this one from 32 yards away. And it's up. Through the uprights and good. Three more points added to the board with that successful kick, his second so far. Back to the field. So before we start the third quarter, here's a quick look at how both teams have fared in the first half. He got all of that one. From the one-yard line. The momentum has been going back and forth so far. This one looks like it's going to be a close game, 
right till the end. The Steelers dominated the stats in the first half as expected, John, but find themselves trailing. These guys are a great second half team, so I expect them to keep up that same intensity level. The first half didn't go as well as they hoped, but they've come back from bigger deficits. A good pass, but no catch. He was there, and the quarterback found him with a ball, but bounced off his hands. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Bennett. The 30. The 40. The 50. At the 40. And they finally make the tackle at the 32 yard line. Great job by the line to spring him for a big game. And he opened up a hole that was big enough that my bus could have fit through it. And once he got through, he used his speed and acceleration, and he got a big chunk of yard. Passing on first down. Pressure coming. Rowing. Incomplete pass. Not much touch on that pass. May have tried to put a little too much oomph on that throw. Looking to run it here. Play action. Hunts gets the pass off. He hits his receiver. He found the seam in the zone for a pretty good game. That's just how they teach you to do it. Read the play, find the weakness, and then go after it. They'll go from the I formation. Ball on the 26 yard line. And this is the fifth play of this drive. Closing in, rowing, and it's caught. Maddox continues to pass effectively and is now thrown for over 200 yards. Try this call here. So they have first and 10 here. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. He'll get it again. Carries it for six yards on that play. Here's a good defense for this situation. The Saints come out on a nickel package. Randolph, the motion man. It off again. Gain of two. with the carry. Here are the numbers when it comes to third down conversions. Third down conversions are usually a good barometer of how well your offense is playing. It means your offense is making big plays when they need them. Throws it up in the end zone. Almost picked it off in the end zone. Yeah, if he could have come up with that one, not only does it take away the scoring threat, but it gets the ball back for your offense. And so they come out to try to tie it up. The kick is up. That successful field goal attempt is his second of the game. Reed is just about ready to kick this one away. Short kick. He didn't get much of that one. From the 13. No one has really taken control so far in this one. It's still anyone's game. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 28. They'll start the drive at the 28-yard line. First and ten. Hand it off. Running back picks up about seven yards. Seven yard gain on the play. Second and three. Ball on the 35-yard line. Set. Couldn't even get out of the backfield. This defense is extremely active and effective up front. They do a good job of getting upfield quickly, creating havoc in the backfield. Misdirection plays and draws could be a good way to use their speed and aggressiveness against them. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. They give it to the halfback. He keeps pounding away in the ground. He closes in on 100 yards. Brooks sets up. Gives the ball off. Great play in the backfield. Yeah, this is a good one to call.
Passing on first down. Coming upfield. Runs him over. Just about a three-yard gain there. On the carry. A smart coach would call this play. The backs are lined up in an eye. Maddox with a man in motion. Dropping back. Throws it. Turns. He has it. Right on the mark there to move the chains. And the thing is, the secondary looked a little on their heels on that one. They just couldn't converge on the ball in time. And now they get a whole new set of down. Bennett with the deep kick. They'll go to the play fake. Gets rid of it. Touchdown, Steelers. He slips behind the secondary and got open for the touchdown. Now that's just how they practiced it. They go over this play all the time at practice, and they use it a few times in just about every game. And let me tell you, most of the time it's successful just like that. And it's on its way, and he picks on the extra point. Flag down. Personal foul. Working the kicker. He took out the kicker. I'll tell you, that's a huge mental mistake because you know you're not supposed to touch the kicker. Should be a return here. He decides not to return this one. No return this time, and the offense heads out into the field, taking over at the 20. Set! Gives the ball off. Still running. And he's knocked out of bounds at the 34. And he's now closer to 100 yards rushing. The backs are lined up in an eye. Dropping back. Under pressure. Steps up into the pocket. Launches this one to the left. He made the catch. Stallworth wins the battle in the secondary and comes up with a big play. Yeah, and they said you want to play zone, then we'll just throw in the window. And that's exactly what they did. <laughs> Again with the run. Just about a yard in the run. Get some time in the pocket and be patient with it. Don't force it into coverage. Set. Gets the pass off. Slips the tackle, and he stops at the 21-yard line. McAllister did a nice job of bringing that to end. Yeah, either that or it just got thrown in there so hard it stuck. The Steelers come out of the nickel package. Brooks gets set. Pressure, scrambling around. He did a great job getting to the quarterback and picked up his first sack. John Carney comes in to try a 41-yard field goal. Let's get back to the play on the field. The kick is up. The kick is good. And he bangs it through again. His third successful field goal attempt. The Saints regain the momentum with that score, John. You can feel the momentum shifting. And the kickoff team comes out onto the field. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. From the five. They'll head back onto the field looking to duplicate their last drive when they were able to get the ball into the end zone, basically through their passing game. To the air on first down. Swings it to the outside. So a gain of about one. It's been a great game so far as these two teams move to the fourth quarter with the score. Pittsburgh, 27. New Orleans, 23. The teams are set for the fourth quarter of play. New Orleans comes out in a dime package. Dropping back. Pressure coming, and he's tackled behind the line by Grant. Good coverage downfield. The quarterbacks have nowhere to go. And it's never good to take a sack, but when there's nothing open downfield, you just can't throw it up there. New Orleans comes out with seven in the second Only a yard by the halfback. On the run, one yard gain on the play. 
Unable to get anything going on this series. They'll have to punt it away here. Here's the kick. And he chooses not to return this one. That's a good job of getting downfield by the cover team to force a fair catch. So they have first and 10 here. Ball on the 49-yard line. <laughs> Powering it. A yard, maybe two on the count. Your halfback looks like a good option here. Set up some blocks and see if he can break it for a big game. Drops back, closing in with the throw, right in the drive. The 30, Brooks, has done a good job finding holes in the secondary on his way to over 200 yards passing. First and 10. Set. Hut. Crosses it left. He can't bring it down. Crossplay goes for about four. On the Pittsburgh with six defensive backs. Dropping back. You can't make any mistakes down here. So run the ball and just get it in there. They have to start scoring touchdowns once they get inside the 20-yard line. Missed tackle. And that's a gain of about eight. Gain of eight on the play. With two extra defensive backs, the defense is in the dime. And he barely got enough. It's a sneak. Touchdown, New Orleans. Carney comes in to attempt the point after. And it's up. The extra point attempt is good. Just what they were looking for, John. Good play calling there. Key drive. Touchdown. Big players make big plays. And that scores touchdown. Give some credit to the linemen out there. They're the biggest guys in the field. And without them, no one gets into the end zone. Low line drive. From the one. They have a reputation for pulling out wins right at the end of games. They have another chance to do that kind of thing right here with this drive. Under pressure, throws it. Incomplete pass. Give this one a try. Second and ten. Ball on their own 29. Maddox sets up. Dropping back. Bettis. And he's tackled behind the line by Smith. New Orleans looks like they're playing the pass as they're lined up in the dime. Pressure, rolling. Jumps up and goes down with it. Terrific athleticism there. Leaping up, catching the pass. This receiver has great body control. It doesn't seem to matter where it's thrown. He always seems to come up with it. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 39. Bettis lines up behind this full back of the eye. Roger makes the play at the 39. The backs are lined up in an eye. Hand it off. They'll go with a play pick. Incomplete. That pass was right there, but he was unable to hang on. I just don't know how you lose focus in a football game. It's third down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 39. And this is the sixth play of this drive. Drops back. Pressure coming with the pass. This one falls incomplete. The intended receiver on the play. This will be his second punt of the game. Here's the punt. He's waving for the fair catch. 
The offense is back on the field after that last touchdown drive. We'll see if they try to move the ball on the ground again. They line up in the I formation. Brooks gets set. Going to the left. He's now over 100 yards rushing. An outstanding day. They need five. Ball on their own 38. The backs are lined up in an eye. He goes to the tailback. He goes down at the 41-yard line. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Third and one coming up on this play. Ball on their own 41. Room to run. Breaks the tackle. Look at that power. The 40. The 30. Flips the tackle. The 10. Touchdown, New Orleans. Look at the speed this guy has. It's not all about his speed. Watch him break through a tackle and just keep going downfield. That was one heck of a run. The kicking team heads out onto the field. its way and he takes on the extra point that's 17 unanswered points they just can't seem to stop him here's the kickoff team he has lined up with a kickoff 42 back to return he kicks a low line drive from the one Following a punt on their last drive, the offense now makes its way back out onto the field. The defense is trying to force a turnover, which would put an end to this game right now. Going to the air on first down. Close again with the throw. The quarterback getting up a little slowly after that play. Creating pressure can really change the way an offense operates. They need to keep some extra blockers in, either a tight end on the line or a back that can help them out with their protection. The defense should focus on keeping the receiver from getting to the sideline, because as soon as he catches the ball, that's where he's going to want to go with it. Throwing. This pass is incomplete. If they get a first here, they'll need to start picking them up quick. The more downs you use to get the first, the longer it takes, and they need every second on the clock to try and make a comeback. Under pressure with the pass, it's his receiver in stride. Maddox continues to add to his total with that completion, giving him over 250 yards passing. And it looks like they're going to go no huddle. Going to the air on first down. Looking for a receiver. Breaking through. With another great pass, this quarterback is closing in on 300 yards. The offense is going to hurry things up here. Pressure, and he's brought down in the backfield by Grant. Second and 15. Ball on the 48-yard line. Pittsburgh will call a timeout here. They have one remaining. The Saints come out on a nickel pack. Dropping back, throws it, grabs the off-target pass, powering it. Burris has been very effective thus far. Five catches for him. He's trying to get them back to the line. The offense is confident they can convert to this first because they've done well on third down thus far. Fourth down now after the incomplete pass. A long field goal attempt here. This one from about 52 yards away. The kick is up. That one looks short from the moment he kicked it. The defense has a timeout left, but it won't help them. Neil Downs can end the game, running out the clock. Ambrose was the standout tonight, and he's the winner of the Horse Trevor Award. Set. Hut. 
Pittsburgh pulls a timeout. That's their third and final timeout. Second and long. Ball on their own 40. Time runs out. The game is over. The final score is New Orleans 37, Pittsburgh 27. A reminder to join us next week for another high-powered matchup. Stay tuned now for your late local news or on the West Coast, your normal programming. This has been a presentation of EA Sports. I'm Al Michaels, and for our entire crew, good night.